Thanks so much for having me, Sophie. It was great. This was great. <sighs> I think I ate my weight in pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good to meet the two of you guys. Yeah. You too, Mike. Greg has said such nice things about you. Well, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was a this was a great game. It was. It definitely has my approval. Yeah, I could see us playing this game for a long time. Yeah, I could definitely. Play Thanks again. Yeah, of course. It's good seeing you guys. Yeah, yeah, you too. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Drive safe. Yeah, thank you. We'll have to do it again soon. Oh, definitely. Okay. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye, Mike. See you, Mike. Bye. Well, thanks for introducing your friends. They seem really nice. Yeah, I think they liked you. Well, I'm glad they did. I can't wait to introduce you to mine. When does that happen? What are you doing Sunday night? Game of Thrones and Apples to Apples double feature? <laughs>
Like, it's not usual for me to meet somebody in real life. I mean, really, my friends had a dare. It was a dare? Like a bet? No, no. I mean, like, I've met guys on the dating apps. Just not a lot of success. I mean, I'm kind of vanilla and boring. And some of them are into crazy stuff. What the heck is baby birding anyway? Yeah, I met a guy into butter, butter sports once. Maybe you could write about that in your column. Oh, you've read it? Yeah. It's not bad. Funny that someone giving dating advice is still single. Was that weird? No, I get that a lot. Anyway, butter sports doesn't sound too bad. I mean, I have wild fantasies about food. Oh, really? Tell me. Well, I mean, did you ever watch Star Trek? No, I'm not that into science fiction. Oh, hmm. Well, anyway, on Star Trek there are these big rooms called holodecks. They're empty but through future technology, they can create anything you could imagine in them, even food you could eat. In my fantasy, I walk up to one, I put my program in. The doors whoosh open to reveal a crust of bread, feeling the entire door frame. You break in with your hands through the crust of the warm bread. You see, the entire room of the holodeck is filled with a giant loaf of freshly baked bread, wall to wall, floor to ceiling. You dive into the huge, spongy loaf. You rip at the bread. Some of it you eat too. Oh, did I mention? You have a helmet on with a butter boy on top. Okay, cool. So I'll call you and we'll hang out soon? I couldn't help wonder if I didn't feel the chemistry, but let's be friends, is the sound of never hearing from someone for the rest of your life. Honestly, should I even be giving advice if I'm so bad at this?